Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Deloy. So we got an interesting post-game interview from Clay Thompson in last night's win where he was benched for the final seven minutes of action. And essentially he came clean and was very, very honest about his feelings about that when really asked how does it feel. And he says he's feeling great physically, but he was not going to lie. And he said it is tough especially knowing that you know he was one of the best players it's hard to kind of digest it but he was still happy to be winning now this is going to cause a lot of conversation around clay thompson and the golden state warriors as we get closer to thursday's trade deadline now before the season began clay thompson had a contract offer he declined it and decided to bet on himself now we do not know 100% what the offer was. What was the annual salary? We know what Draymond Green got, and that was four years, $100 million. Where was Clay Thompson going to fall? Because you would expect a pay cut to arise, right? Clay Thompson making $43.2 million this season. He is not going to see $43 million in any season moving forward. But how much of a pay cut is he willing and will he ultimately take? That is definitely the question. Now, this season for Klay Thompson has not been a strong one. I think everybody understands he has not looked the same, and people have kind of been waiting to see if he's going to get it together. Now, we have seen him struggle two seasons ago and then figure it out late. Can that be the same situation now? Possibly, because when you look at the stats for Klay Thompson, he is shooting a career low 37% from three, which I have to say, a career low 37% from three it means you're a pretty, pretty good shooter at that point. But we're used to seeing Clay Thompson around that 42, 41%. You know, he had a 44% year in one year, which was his career high. So seeing him back at 37 is a career low. Now, two seasons ago, he was down at 38%. So it is a little bit, it, we can see him bounce back. He has definitely bounced back in the past. We could potentially see it again, but it is not looking that great as of now. So Clay Thompson, I think a lot of it is mental. A lot of it is mental. I think he knows the pressure. He is trying to earn that paycheck and it hasn't quite worked out. Now, when you look at Golden State, they have a decision to make because Clay Thompson is an unrestricted free agent this summer. So. Do you plan on signing him? Do you allow him to walk? What ends up happening? Or do you try to trade him at the deadline? Now, we talked about this before. I do think the Warriors should make changes. When it comes to changes, I think we're realistically looking at a Andrew Wiggins potentially being moved. If they could somehow come off of Chris Paul, I don't think we see a scenario where that person is Clay Thompson. Just because I don't know what the value is for him and when you really look at the warriors they're not in a terrible spot they're not in the greatest financial spot neither but they're not in the terrible terrible spot so when you take a look at what they are you know scheduled to be paying next season they're scheduled to be paying 172 million dollars that is before clay thompson is signed so say you sign him around 20 20 million dollars i i i'll be a little Nice. So say we sign him at $25 million. I'm also plugging this in as I'm doing this. So you sign him at 20, 25 million. You're now at 197 million, which means you are a second tier player. So you do not want to be on that second apron at all. So what do you do to get rid of it? It's an easy fix. Chris Paul has a $30 million non guarantee. So if you waive him, trade him, you probably waive him though. So say you, you waive him. You, you're not on the hook for anything, which is you know pretty rare for a price that high in the NBA. So you just clear $30 million. That brings you down to 167. So you're not even at the taxpayer yet at 172. First apron is at 179. And then second apron is at 190. So that puts you at 167. And that is before you trade away Andrew Wiggins. You would assume you are going to absorb some type of money back. For Andrew Wiggins so we have seen teams that are in worse situations moving forward the Warriors are not in a crazy situation so now you can play around a little bit so decide maybe we, we will offer Clay Thompson a little bit more so let's go ahead and let's sign Clay for 30 million for a year 
just for easy math that puts you at 172 so you now at the taxpayer just by waving chris paul and that is not assuming that you you know get a little bit less of money for whatever you trade andrew wiggins for i would assume he would be traded but you get less than that 26 million dollars um you would assume the player option for gary payton is going to be picked up i mean a lot of these i think you know team options will also be picked up you have a partial guarantee on kevon looney so you can decide what you want to do there but i do see that you know i see him coming back as well so they're not in a awful spot i don't think they have to trade clay thompson now if you get a good enough trade offer i mean you will listen right but i do think the warriors are going to try to do rights by clay i think eventually they will come to a meeting a mutual meeting point and they could both be potentially happy but i think clay thompson just in his head mentally right now i still think he's a good player of course he's 34 so he's not prime clay thompson but i still think he can help you win games but maybe he does have to you know accept the fact which it seems like he is that he may not be you know the go-to guy besides steph at this point maybe he does become a little bit more of a role player and guy which i still expect him to start but there will be games if he's not hitting he will be finishing on the bench so i don't think it's doom and gloom not doom and gloom for clay thompson but or the warriors i don't think they have to trade him but um i it's tough he got to get over what he's <laughs> what he's going through he has to get over what he's going through man uh, but the Warriors are not an awful spot. So we'll ultimately see what happens. But that is where I'm betting right now that he will not be moved at the deadline. I think that uh, Chris Paul will definitely be waived if he can't get traded. Andrew Wiggins, I do expect for them to try to trade him either now or in the offseason. Um, we'll see how successful they are with that, man. But you guys let me know ultimately what you guys think. What do you think the Warriors should do with Klay Thompson? Should they try to extend him in the offseason? Should they allow him to walk? Or should they try to trade him before Thursday's trade deadline? Let me know what you guys would do if you were the GM of the Golden State Warriors in the comment section below. And as usual, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please do me a favor. Go ahead and leave this video a like. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's D-Lord. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.